Hey everyone, it's been six months since we did our last travel video and since it's the end of the year, we will be doing more travel vlogs. Today we are in New York City. Okay, that was, that was cringy. Yeah. So today we are in New York City. So Google sent us here today because they'll be launching something very special tomorrow and we can't wait to share it with all of you guys. So it's gonna be a long and exciting day, so come with us. Let's go! So we have decided we are going to the Statue of Liberty. They are a bit cold, that's why they are hiding at the wall. It, it is actually a bit cold today. So our Uber took us rounds and rounds and uh, we ended up here. Nowhere near Statue of Liberty. It's a free day so no worries. He here is helping us get to the Statue the of Liberty, Liberty right? And then once we get there, we're gonna take a tour to see the Ellis Island, see the statue. Show the view and then come back in one hour. Yeah. I feel like a lost tourist right now. Four people? Yeah. Okay, 140. We are taking a bus to the Statue of Liberty, right? I don't know how dangerous oh, I, this is. We just paid some money and we're getting on a bus. Our bus is leaving, what the hell? It's right there. It seems like a second bus has arrived. Thanks, man. But this is the best food we've eaten so far. <laughs> really good. I don't know, maybe because we are too hungry. The boat is so The boat crowded. is very crowded. On Google, it says that Statue of Liberty is closed. I don't think we should get on that ship. So we decided that we are not getting on that ferry because it doesn't actually go to the Statue of Liberty. It just goes around. Furthermore, we actually saw so many people on the ship that actually some of them came right here to puke. So I don't think it's a good idea to get on that ferry. So now, we are going to Times Square. Let's go. So at least we got to see Statue of Liberty right there. So we're now in Times Square. We're just stopping by because we'll be here in the next few days. And tomorrow we have a pretty big day so we're probably going back to the hotel to rest soon. Cold. Yeah, it's a bit cold. The girls are cold. And yeah, cold drink. <laughs> See, the Starbucks is so big here, I love it. Cold brew is even better here. So it's day two and as you can see, we are outside Spring Studios. Google is launching something very special today. Yep, they are launching their Pixel 3. I have my tech glasses, so I look like a reliable tech source. And I just realized that there are like a lot of guys. We need more women in the tech department. So it turns out that there is still one more hour till the keynote begins. Yeah. So we are going to get some breakfast. Our second breakfast of the day. Never enough. Never enough. You live to eat. <laughs> On November 1st, it will be available in 12 more markets, including four new ones this year. France, Ireland, Japan, and Taiwan. Really appreciate you being here with us today. Thank you very much. Have a great day. We found this room out of nowhere and yeah. we are actually trying out the Google Pixel 3 because we can take some fun photos without even having to press a button. So just basically making a funky face and it will take a photo for us. So we're now at the rooftop of Spring Studios and as you can see there is a pretty nice view of the city. So we'll be taking some photos with the Pixel 3 because the camera on this is amazing. So we just finished taking a few photos and I have to say it looks pretty great. Yeah, considering that we ate a lot of bread today. We did eat a lot of <laughs> bread today. Too much bread and not enough rice. Hopefully our next meal will have some rice. So we're now back in the hotel for a little rest. I'm still a little jet lagged and tired. But I just want to say a big thank you to Google for inviting us and sending us all the way to New York City for this keynote event. It was actually my first global Google keynote event that I've ever attended and it was overwhelming, it was exciting, so many things were happening. Today Google launched three main products, the Google Home Hub, the Google Pixel Slate and the Pixel 3 which I have in my hands right here. So as a YouTuber and a photographer, I'm already in love with the Pixel 3 for its camera. So I don't want to dive into too much details in this vlog but we will definitely be doing an in-depth review on Not Good Gamers so look out for that. So we'll be extending our trip for two more days 
and we haven't actually booked a hotel yet. The one that Google got for us right here, we're currently staying at 11 Howard, is actually pretty decent. It's in a really good location. We've been going everywhere by foot. Check out the view. But yeah, I should probably book our hotel now. So as you can see from the hotel's combined app, we can compare the prices from all the top travel sites in just one search. All you have to do is key in your destination and for us, it'll be Times Square in New York because that's where we want to stay. And then key in your travel dates and a list of hotels with the best rates will appear. You can then filter it based on your preferred budget or star rating. Too easy. So right now, we are headed to the Google office for dinner. So we're now in the Google office in New York. just fell. <laughs> so check out the view. We are in the Google office and wow, New York City. So we're at the rooftop of the Google building. It's so, so nice. And we're about to have dinner now. Hello. Hi. Yeah, Hi. So I thought this was rice. I thought it was fried rice. It's not! It's a barley salad. We were actually very desperate so we went downstairs and we found rice. Rice! rice. <laughs> we're too Asian and I actually I feel bad rice. to admit this. So okay, we might have uh, over ordered. Time to eat! So it's 9 a.m. in the morning and we have all signed up for a riding lesson which is just down the street. And it's gonna be Britney Bean, so so exciting, let's go! So we just finished the workout and it was crazy but it was feels so, so good. Yeah, super fun. Yeah, we usually don't work out. So now that we're done with exercise in the morning, we are going to look for food! 10.30 a.m. in the morning eating this. This is not healthy. I don't even know why we went to work out. Check it out, this is chocolate sauce. So after the mac and cheese and the chocolate milkshake, we've decided to order some desserts. Yes, more dessert, more unhealthy food. Just look at this. I don't know what this is, waffles with ice cream? Wow, I hate myself for allowing this to happen. So we're at Champion and I'm currently customizing my apparel. I'm getting pink on a black shirt. So it's black pink. Yeah. I'm getting some stuff for my parents as well because they are my champions. This is for my dad and I'm getting this for my mom. So Nicole is leaving today. It's two days early because she's not extending our trip. She actually has a school project that she needs to do. So. Yeah, it's due on Monday and I haven't started so I'm pretty screwed. Bye, Bye Nicole. Bye. 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 Oh man. So we're just gonna end the day here. It's been a pretty long day. A lot of walking. And yeah, we woke up at 7 a.m. just to do some exercise, so <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. So we just checked into the Intercontinental and this is a very nice hotel and the room is very spacious. As you can see, I'm able to put my luggages on the floor and still be able to walk around. And we are in the middle of Times Square, New York City. And we found this hotel by using the hotel's combined app. And we got the cheapest rate for it. So if you're going on a holiday or even booking a staycation, then download the app in the links in the description below. And now we are going to walk around Times Square. Let's go. The sun is out. And it is super cold. Do not be fooled by the sun. Look at the way everyone is dressed. You know it's cold. So it's really cold. So I choose to get some warm pretzels. Yay! It makes me feel much better. It's really cold. All of a the sudden, there are a lot of birds flying around and I'm really afraid that they, you know, drop a little poo oh on me. Suddenly, the whole lot of them just started flying out. I just don't want to be around these. We're in M&M world and we're going to customize our m and So we're going to make one for our friend and one for me and Hao. So we use the machines to actually type in our names and choose the design that we wanted. And now we get to pick the colors of m and that we want to print it on. So the colors we chose were so ugly. Like it looks good when you section it but 
when you just mix it together, it looks like medicine. This was a bad choice. Okay, you were sectioning it out. No. Books are wearing three layers of clothes and it's still freaking cold. Oh my god, look at this. This is like one, two, three. Sorry, sorry. Can I make sure with you? Oh yeah, sure. What's up? So I'm actually surprised that we have quite a few fans from America. Like it's always heartwarming when we travel and people come up to ask us for photos or tell us that they love our videos because I don't know, it's nice to know that we have fans outside of Singapore. This drain is slippery and uh, I can slide. Bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea. So the rain has stopped and suddenly all the tourists are out to take their photos and that is our cue to leave. So sadly, it's time for us to leave New York City. This place has been wonderful. The food has been great. The people have been so friendly and hopefully it won't be too long before we get to come back here. Also, towards the end of the year, we'll be traveling a lot more and sharing our experiences with you guys. So don't forget to subscribe here and leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know where you would want us to visit. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!